and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rampage, as now it is time for the Tag Team Elimination Matchup for the NECW World Tag Team Titles. Now, over the past few weeks, the set and the Killzone Brotherhood have been going at it non-stop ever since their matchup. Ever since their last matchup at Soul Survival. At one point three weeks ago, it was an eight-man tag team match when the, all four members of the set took on the MWE Alliance and the Killzone Brotherhood, which led up into a, a complete brawl. Not even a matchup, just a brawl. Everybody sit here. But tonight, the set, neither the Killzone Brothers have ensured that there will be no outside interference from any of the stables. And I can guarantee you on that, folks, and I don't know if I can trust the kill zones on that though, folks. Because the kill zones are always up to their old tricks. We all know what they're capable of. But can they actually pull it off this time without cheating? Here come the lone wolves, known as the kill zone brotherhood. Like I said, the Killzone Brotherhood has been cheap shotting their way through the tag team division ever since their debut here and aligning themselves with the MWE Alliance. I just don't like this new attitude that they portray towards their opponents ever since thinking that, that this conspiracy theory of the MWE coming back to life is going to exist. I just don't like that attitude. But can they actually pull off a fair victory for the first time in their careers here and actually defeat the set without no outside interference, no hope at all. Will they be true to their word to even retain their tag team titles here tonight? And ladies and gentlemen, that's what it's all about here tonight. The second rematch as the set gets another shot at the Killzone Brotherhood in this elimination tag team match. So it looks like Drippy De Niro is going to start it off with Mars Killzone. And already out of the gate, look at De Niro. De Niro now with a head scissors takedown. <laughs> De Niro just unleashing all the hate. Driven into him by these two brothers. Now look at this. What a counter by Mars Killzone. Now Killzone is once again sidestepped again as Drippy De Niro sidesteps the spinning heel kick and follows it up with a snap DDT. You know, over the past few weeks, the Killzone brothers have been cheating the way to victory ever since they've won the tag team titles at Humble Beginnings two months ago. First with the Triple Threat Trifecta, and then after that, the Killzone Brotherhood would go on to terrorize the set, and the set would challenge of the tag team titles at Soul Survival. But the, but the set was unsuccessful in capturing it, and now it's led up to this, After and then after that, after weeks of brawling back and forth, I believe it all exploded on that edition, on the July 13th edition, when the MWE Alliance and the set completely broke out into a complete brawl, leading to a count at a ringside, which probably has done the trick and was uh, has ignited this rematch with the tag team title. Here's the cover as Omari Gold gets the shoulder up. Like I said, Mars Killzone now. And oh, no, and Mars Killzone hit the downward spiral. Here's the cover on Garlic to eliminate him and only a one count. Like I said, you gotta be aware of the kill zones in this matchup. You gotta be very aware here. Don't know what the hell the kill zones could do. And now the kills. Oh, and a reversal by Mar by Omari Garlic. Now Garlic now unloading on Mars Killzone in the corner here. Oh, and a clothesline and Mars Killzone is off his feet. Oh, this and a counter. By Mars Killzone. And now Mars Killzone has him on the ropes. Reversal by Omari Garlic. And Garlic trying to go for something, but Mars Killzone just throws him across the ring. 
Almar oh, Garlic's in deep trouble, and a reverse, a counter by Garlic, and look at Garlic unload on Mars kill zone. Garlic just unleashing all that hate, all that anger that was built up in him. He probably has never forgotten about that brawl that happened three weeks ago between both teams in that matchup, and how Mars Killzone costed them the matchup. Now look at this. Oh, and a, a sidestep by Garlic, and Garlic hit a Bulldog! Now Garlic now, oh my lord, look at the ruthless intent of Garlic in this matchup. Oh, this, and a counter, a jawbreaker by Killzone, stuns him, ducks the Larian. Oh, and Killzone still on top, though. Now Killzone's on the top rope. And now look at our Jimmy De Niro. Serves that son of a bitch right. And there goes Omar's Killzone off the turnbuckle. But still gets back up and rises to his feet and gets the cover. But Omari Gullah gets the shoulder up. And look at this. And a DDT by Killzone. My God. Now look at this, Garlic now has him in the corner here. Hello, uh oh, uh oh, this is not good. Uh oh, Omari oh, Garlic's going to that place. They're on the top rope here. Garlic has bad intentions. Oh my, oh my God! A superplex to the concrete at ringside. That's gotta be it for the kill zones, but Mars kills on somehow once again rises back to his feet and hits a winning edge face buster on the concrete and a jab to the face here. Remember, there are still countouts in this matchup. We are at a five count at ringside. And now look, oh come on! This is now a two on one assault of Omari Garlic at ringside. And Daniel Killzone has just accidentally took out Mars Killzone with the Lariat, but still caught Omari Garlic. Oh, and a knee to the stomach! My God, now look at that, just lifting Mars Killzone back to his feet, so he can get the upper hand. Now look at this guard trying to fight back. Oh, no! Omari Garlic and Mars Killzone have been eliminated from this matchup due to Daniel Killzone's interference, and now we are down to two here. Drippy the Narrow and Daniel Killzone. Omari Garlic, look at that. Omari Garlic's not even leaving. Omari Garlic is watching what the hell's going on. We're at a four count at a ringside. Please don't tell me this is going to be the same fate. And Omari Garlic's just watching on. And now look at this. Kills on sidestepped him and kills him with a bulldog on a concrete. We're at a seven count at ringside. Oh, into the corner. Now an eight count. We have to have some sort of winner here. Daniel kills on and now back to the ring and, f and breaks up the count. Momentarily, we could have saw a repeat what happened three weeks ago when when Drippy then when the whole set in the MWB Alliance got counted out at ringside due to a brawl. And now look at Ma look at that in a backdrop by De Niro. Drippy De Niro now sidestepped. Kill zone with a Russian leg sweep. Now Daniel Killzone has Drippy De Niro. The narrow sidestepped him. We are down to two in this matchup. Now this has him on the shoulders. Look at De Niro. De Niro's spinning him. Look at this. Airplane spin here. Has him on the shoulders. Dizzying the champion. And follows it up with a slam onto the mat. Here we go. So, now look at this. This could be the shot that could end the match here to be crowned new tag team champions. Drippy De Niro on the ropes. Look at Drippy go. The money shot. De Niro now setting up for the cash flow. De Niro's gonna do it here. De Niro, cash flow. And no, De Niro almost had him. De Niro hit the cash flow, but that was not enough to put away Daniel Killzone. Now, did Trippy De Niro's on the second rope? What could he be looking for here? De Niro, oh no! De Niro's looking for that blockbuster, but Daniel Killzone sidestepped him. Now, Daniel Killzone with another counter into a reverse DDT. Now, look at this. Oh, and a knee to the temple of Trippy De Niro. Oh, what? Oh, come on! 
The ref obviously saw that as Daniel Killzone has just removed a part of the top rope off. As I'm up. Oh, head first. The pile driver. That exposed turnbuckle is just a is a weapon. Now Daniel kills on a loading with the loot has press on that arrow. Now De Niro better find a way to get out of it here. And De Niro with that shoulder block reversal. Now look at this. De Niro now has him by the head and a neck breaker by De Niro. De Niro's on a roll here. De Niro, look at this. Rolling neck snap. Oh, and a shot to the leg here. Like I said, De Niro is just urging to get his revenge here by doing the ultimate revenge of stealing the tag team titles here tonight. Now look at De Niro. Snap suplex. A counter by Killzone. Killzone follows it up on another Russian leg sweep. And there's Killzone talking the trash again, talking that shit. Now, now Killzone setting up. Killzone is setting up here. Killzone with the gun. Almost had the kill bomb, but De Niro countered. And a counter by Daniel Killzone. Killzone has him up now. Another pile driver. Now Killzone. Going to the top rope here. Killzone setting up. Look at Killzone. Killzone now begging for Drew De Niro to get up here. Look at this. There's the O. Oh, no. De Niro sidestepped him. De Niro sidestepped the elbow. But Daniel Killzone's there again. Daniel Killzone has him on the top rope. These are bad intentions here. Bad intentions on the face of Daniel Killzone. No, oh, they're going high. Look at this. Oh my lord, superplex. Here's the cover on Drippy De Niro. Two, no, De Niro gets the shoulder up. Oh, what the hell is it gonna take away to put away De Niro? Kick to the gut. Has him hoisted up on the shoulder like a power bomb. Daniel kills on out of breath here. He is out of breath here. Drippy De Niro is just completely out of. This is Daniel kills on chance here to retain the tag team championship. Look at this. Now look at this. De Niro sidesteps him with a suplex. De Niro. De Niro has him as a face buster. There it is by De Niro. De Niro has him again. Up he goes. Falcon Arrow. De Niro just needs to set up for that money shot. De Niro, money shot. There it is. De Niro. De Niro's going to do it. Here's the cover. Two. Yes. The set. Yeah. The set are the new tag team champions. The set have finally reached the high pinnacle. Finally, the tag team division is no longer being terrorized by the kill zones as we have new tag team champions. And like I said, folks, there was no interference at all. Glad the kill zones kept their word, but hats off to the kill zones, even though they're MW invaders. Hats off to them in this matchup. What a matchup! And now. These two men sit on top of the tag team division in NECW. Their names are Drippy De Niro and Omari Garlic. Try to run down with a deuce, deuce. That's a no, no, yeah. uh, Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next on Rampage in this pay-per-view, 
it will be it is now time for the fatal four-way false count anywhere elimination match for the all-american championship sean oliver defends the championship against andrew flasher justin frazier and mj styles who will walk out as all-american champion it's live it's next <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this has been brewing for weeks because Andrew Fleischer has been. It all. This all started. This whole multi-man match started when Andrew Fleischer went one-on-one -on -one with Justin Frazier in a 10-minute Iron Man matchup to determine the next number one contender for the All-American Championship. And then it proceeded during that matchup when MJ Styles came out and attacked Justin Frazier giving Andrew Fleischer the point in the matchup but then a week later MJ Styles would go into his office with Daniel Fox as Daniel Fox quote unquote vouched for MJ Styles in the matchup for the, for the match Like I was saying, MJ Styles ha went got into this matchup. Got into this matchup when when Daniel Fox quote unquote vouched for him to get in this matchup without Andrew Fleischer even knowing about it. What earlier today, MJ Styles and Andrew Fleischer were backstage having some words, talking about they will be teaming up in the matchup, but MJ Styles said. I will be walking out as All-American Champion in the end. And he said, think of yourself as the herald of my shadow. And I, you gotta wonder, how are those words sinking in the mind of Andrew Fleischer, even though he has his co-conspirator and all, how should that be floating in the mind of Andrew Fleischer? Because now we don't know what's going to happen between these two in this match. Are they going to team up or are they, gonna, are they gonna, just going to go at each other? And now here comes the man that has been repeatedly screwed over by the MW Alliance over and over ever since the Iron Man matchup with Andrew Fleischer that ended in a draw due to MJ Styles' interference several times in the mashup. Justin Fraser has to, have, has to have fire in his eyes here tonight. Think about what the hell he's going to do to MJ Styles and Andrew Fleischer. But the question is, last week, after the, after the tag team matchup with Justin Fraser, uh, back on July 27th edition of Revolution, when Justin Fraser and Andrew Fleischer, with Justin Fraser and Sean Oliver, defeated MJ Styles and Andrew Fleischer in a tag team matchup. At the end, Justin Fraser and Sean Oliver had a war of words backstage, and then it would end up, it would end up with Oliver getting the last word. There he is, folks. The All-American Champion, folks, Sean Oliver. He's now a two-time All-American Champion. 
and he's had his own set of wars with MJ Styles and Andrew Fleischer. First starting off with the first blood match at Humble Beginnings two months ago. And then, after that, MJ Styles blindsided him before a non-title matchup with, with Andrew Fleischer. And now, they all finally meet in this fatal four-way matchup for the All-American Championship. But like I said, folks, no matter what, bad blood or not, respect or not, it's every man for himself in this matchup. The All-American Championship is on the line here. Now here we go folks and we are immediately underway and immediately Justin Frazier is sent over the ropes after trying to go for Andrew Fleischer as Fleischer ducked the clothesline and dumped Justin Frazier to ringside. Now what's Frazier doing here? Now look at this. Oh my lord! Frazier just went aerial onto Sean Oliver. Meanwhile... I guess the words must have gotten to Andrew Fleischer as now look at MJ Styles and Fleischer brawl here. Bert, every man for himself in this matchup. Alliance or not, NECW or not, it's every man for themselves. Now look at this. Oh, and a Tiger suplex onto the concrete by Oliver. A Justin Frazier. Now look at that and a counter by Fleischer onto Oliver. The champion is down. And a counter by Oliver. Meanwhile, Frazier going after MJ Styles. Styles had the intention of helping out Sean, of helping out Andrew Fleischer. But uh, but Frazier was there. Now look at this. Frazier has a baseball. Ball. Oh my god! Frazier was trying to clock MJ Styles with the baseball bat. But Styles sidestepped him with a back elbow to the jaw. Now look at this. And Frazier with a tornado DDT. Now here's the cover on MJ Styles. And not even a count as the ref was too late to even get back in the ring. Like I said, all these four men just gunning for one prize in this matchup. Look at this. Meanwhile, a pile driver. My God. Here's the cover on Styles again to get the first elimination, and Styles gets the shoulder up. Meanwhile, oh, and a reversal by Fleischer at ringside. Fleischer now, oh, and a DDT on the concrete. Oh my god. Now the two invaders are in control here. Remember, this is not no damn tornado tag, tag team matchup from two weeks ago. And there's that knee from Fleischer to eliminate the champion early. And the champion with that counter. Now look at the champion. The champion with a kick to the gut. Now look at this. Frazier on a roll. And now, no, oh my lord. Styles sidestep him. Styles has him up. Tiger bomb. What a maneuver. Meanwhile, at ringside, a pedigree by Fleischer. Fleischer got all that one to eliminate the champion early. There's the cover on the champion. Two. No, the champion is still in it. Now look at this. Justin Fraser has MJ Styles right where he wants him on the top rope. Look at this. Hooks him on the arms here. Look at this. And there's the underhook suplex. From the top rope, I might add. Here's the cover on Styles to eliminate Styles early. Two. Now Styles gets the shoulder up. Now look at this. Frazier gonna go for Andrew Fleischer to help out Sean Oliver. Look at this. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Frazier just took out both Oliver and Andrew Fleischer. Now let's try to do brawl. What if when Oliver at ringside now turns him around? Texas Cloverleaf locked in on Frazier. And Frazier easily gets out of it. 
Oh, Fleischer. Look at the for Oliver. But there's a uh, there's Fraser there to save Oliver. To save Oliver. And look at this. And a reversal by Styles throwing Fraser back into the ring here. Meanwhile, Andrew Fraser was looking to go for Styles. Now look at this. But he catches him on a clothesline. Frazier caught him on a clothesline. Now Fleischer has the champion up and on the shoulders and a wheelbarrow face buster. Now, meanwhile, look at this. Oh, what a maneuver. 